Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to look at a 10 mark question from longitudes and latitudes. We are told that P, 30 degrees north, 73 degrees in the east, and Q, 30 in the north, and 107 in the west are two towns on the earth's surface. Take pi, 22 out of 7, and R, which is radius of the earth, is 63, 70 kilometers. To find the distance between P and Q along the parallel of the latitude in kilometers to one decimal place. Therefore, what we are having is two towns here. Such that they are on 30 degrees in the north. Then we have in the east, 73. In the west, 107. 107. So this is 73. And this is 107. To the west, this is to the east. This is 30 degrees in the north. Okay. So we are told to find the distance between them, P and Q, along the parallel of the latitude. So distance along a small circle in kilometers is given by distance equals to theta over 360 to pi r cosine of the latitude such that this should be theta is the angle difference between the two this is 107 in the west 73 in the east so the angle difference is 180 180 over 360 times 2 times 22 out of 7 times 63 70 multiplied by the cosine of 30 because the latitude is 30 in the north. So we can compute this and see when we have 180 times 2 times 22 times 6370 cosine of 30 divided by 360 multiplied by 7. So this gives us 17,337 to one decimal place 0.8 kilometers. So that is the distance along the parallel latitude in kilometers and to one decimal place. Find the distance between P and Q along a great circle. Or rather, we're being taught to find the shortest distance from P to Q, which is the distance along a great circle. The distance along a great circle because these are two places which are on opposite longitudes, 107 and 73, such that if we are moving, this is P, and this is Q. From Q to P, we can pass just through the North Pole and along the same path we drop to P. Or from P up to the North Pole and down along the same same path to Q. Therefore, this is a great circle. So what we should do is to get the angle now theta at the center of the Earth following that great circle. Remember, we have a, we can make this angle here such that because this is 30 degrees in the north, then from the equator up to P, we have 30 degrees. And from equator up to Q, we have 30 degrees. Now that we have 30 degrees on this side, and from equator up to the North Pole, we have only 90 degrees. Then there is a remaining angle of 60. And to the other side, a remaining angle of also 60 degrees. This means for the great circle or great circle arc, QP or PQ, then for this arc, we have an angle theta of 120 at the center. Therefore, distance along a great circle is given by theta over 360 to pi r and the theta we will use here is 120 
out of 360 times 2 times r 6370 6370 multiplied by pi so let's confirm this value 120 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 6370 then we multiply by 22 and we divide by 360 by 7 this gives us 13,346.667 and we want just to one decimal place so 0.7 kilometers that's how we get the shortest distance between two places which are in opposite longitudes then we are told further to find if this should be if if the time at p is 13 hours find the time at q remember from p to q we have an angle difference of 180 and for every one degree there is time difference of four minutes which means for the 180 degrees then we have four by 180 so that we get 180 by 4 we are getting 720 minutes 720 minutes this translates to when we divide by 60 720 over 60 this gives us 12 hours this translates to 12 hours so if we have an a time difference of 12 hours and at p which is to the east we are 12 okay it is uh, 13 hours this is 13 hours zero zero so q which is to the west then is behind in time so we will take 13 hours and we subtract the time difference and we will find ourselves at zero one zero zero hours this is the time at q because q is bind in time therefore when it is 1 pm in the afternoon it is 1 am at q because q is behind by 12 hours finally we have a question in part b which says that two towns a and b are 16 okay 12 16 nautical miles apart they lie on the latitude 60 degrees north a is 20 degrees to the east find the possible coordinates of b so remember we are having two places here such that uh, one is 20 to the east and they are both at 60 of the north and we are given the distance from A to where B is. So we can get the angle difference between A and B. Such that in nautical miles along a small circle, distance is given by 60 times angle difference cosine of the latitude. Cosine of the latitude. Therefore, we can say the distance which is already given of 1260 is equal to 60 times the angle difference which we don't know cosine of the two places are at 60 in the north cosine of 60 so we can get the angle difference between the two places or rather the longitude difference by taking 1260 and we divide it with 60 cosine of 60 so this gives us an angle difference of 42 if we have an angle difference of 42 from A to where B is, we have not been given the direction into which B is. Therefore, that is why the examiner is giving us a free will to determine the possible coordinate, which means from A, B can be to the east, which means if B is to the east, 
then we are moving from 20 degrees east we are moving an angle difference of 42 which means we will find ourselves at a coordinate of b which will be 60 degrees in the north and when we add 42 to 20 assuming it is to the east of a then b is going to be at 62 degrees in the east but again there is another possible coordinate of b when we assume from a towards b is to the west then we are at 20 degrees in the east and we want to move through an angle difference of 42 then it means we will cover the the 20 degrees which are to the to the east and we include another 22 degrees to the west so it will be 60 degrees in the north and 22 degrees in the west this is another possible coordinate because 22 degrees in the west and 20 degrees in the east will still give us an angle difference of 42 just like 20 degrees in the east and 62 in the east